Hi. Hi. Testing, testing. We've received over 600 questions from teens all around the world anonymously. I'm here today to give you advice on all things. Let's go. Is it ever okay to send nudes of yourself to someone? Yes, of course. As long as you are sure they want those nudes. Because if you're sending nudes without permission, that's kind of gross and creepy. Um, in that, like, I get, for example, sent dick pics all the time by men and, like, that sexual harassment. If you are under 18, no. If you send a nude and you are underage, you are spreading child pornography, even if you're in the photos. If you're found guilty of that, you can be put in the sex offender registry, which impacts your chances of getting a job later on in life. But if you're over the age of 18, there's nothing wrong with it. If you're engaging in a conversation where you know or you've checked and made sure that the person wants to see nudes of you, yes, of course it's fine to send nudes of yourself. Just be careful, just because you trust someone now doesn't mean something may ha may not happen in the future that changes that trust with that person or that changes your dynamic. I just do not trust the phone. I do not trust the World Wide Web because I'm just terrified of it just like going absolutely viral. You've given that person ammunition in the sense that if they wanted to, could use it as revenge porn or a way to get back at you. Just send it with your body or not with your face in it. So then, you know, if stuff comes out, just deny, deny, deny. Send nudes that are, you know, one, not noticeable in terms of location. Two, don't show your face. I used to send nudes all the time to people I was flirting with. I've gotten lazy now. <laughs> I don't bother anymore. Just post them on my Instagram instead. Am I a bitch for having sex with someone that has a girlfriend? There's a lot of different reasons um, people cheat with someone. There is like an honor code not to want with someone's partner, but if you did not know, then it's fair because that's not your you responsibility. You don't know. You don't know. There's the chase aspect, which can be exciting and feel forbidden. I don't necessarily think you're a bitch. I do think you need to evaluate your pool of partners though, and potentially go for somebody who isn't in a committed relationship so you don't have these feelings about yourself but definitely not a bitch. There's a lot of different reasons so I think your goal should be figuring out kind of why am I doing this? Is this unhealthy? And from there you can kind of figure out, you know, am I, is it worth ruining someone or affecting their relationship. How can one be sexy? Yes, girl. Okay, here is how you be sexy. Ooh, sexy. You take this star sticker, put it on your cheek, grab a sexy pair of glasses, and bam, you're sexy. Just do what Beyonce does. I'm kidding. <laughs> Go up to the nearest mirror in your house or wherever you are right now. Look into the mirror and tell yourself that you're sexy because you are sexy. How can I be comfortable in my own skin? It's taken me years and years to be comfortable in my own skin and I definitely still have days where I'm not. When you realize that being different is actually a blessing, that's when you become really comfortable. Someone very familiar with this kind of question as a person with body dysmorphic disorder. And if you don't know what body dysmorphic disorder is, it is a mental illness in which the person who has it cannot really see themselves clearly or realistically. Things like uh, facing certain fears that you might have in regards to your body, um, pushing certain boundaries. Um, like for myself, it was overcoming the fear of like wearing a bathing suit in public. There's a whole system that kind of requires us to feel insecure about ourselves. I said, why? I'm living in a system that wants me to hate my body. Um, and I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Being black, like I used to want my hair straight. I, I wish I had lighter skin. Like I wished I looked like white girls on magazines and TV because like, I didn't, because I didn't see people who look like me. Growing up, like in primary school and even in high school, I got picked on a lot. Of all the people in the whole entire world, there is just no one who does you like you. And that is so valuable. What happened was because of that bullying, I tried to distance myself from things that I really love. At the end of the day, I had to make a decision to pursue what I love and make myself happy. And I think that is where 
confidence can actually come from. So you just have to embrace the fact that you are different if you are different. And, and at the end of the day, we're all different. It's not if, we're all different. And there is not something wrong with you if you don't feel comfortable. So I definitely recommend just starting somewhere and beginning the journey of self-love.